Hey YouTubers, Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. Today we are working on our snowblower and in the event that your engine is stalling out completely, we're going to show you the most common causes. Let's go outside and take a look. All right, YouTubers outside in the garage now and first couple things you wanna check. Your gas tank, verify that you have gas inside your tank. I know that's funny, but we have to check it. Verify you have gas in your tank because we all know your snowblower is not going to run without gas. Next, come down to your fuel control lever. Make sure it is in the on position. Come up to your choke. And once you get the engine started, it'll be in this position. After the engine starts, shift it to run. If you fail to do that, your engine will be over primed and choked and your fuel air mixture will be off balance and your engine will sputter or turn off. Next, verify that your throttle is just slightly above turtle. And when it comes time to get to work or get to business with your snow project, shift this all the way up to the Rabbit 4 high RPM output. If it's still stalling after you turn on the engine, let it sit in the off position, come to the front of the snowblower, and verify nothing is obstructing your auger area. Make sure your auger is not submerged and buried with snow nor ice. Take a look internally at your impeller. Make sure your impeller is not full of ice or snow because both of those could ultimately be the cause of your snowblower turning on and then turning off. Because once you engage your drive clutch and your auger clutch, if you've got too much ice in here and snow in here, it's going to shut the system down. And with that said, I have a separate video that is scrolling above right now, and it is a step-by-step -step video on how to properly prepare your snowblower for short-term storage, meaning a couple days to a few weeks. And that is important because if you put this thing away in a non-heated garage full of snow, well, guess what? It is going to freeze, and you're going to be faced with all sorts of problems the next time you go to use your snowblower. Well, after checking that, and that's not the issue, again, your engine may be warm. So at this point, let your engine sit in the off position for a couple hours. Come down below. This is your exhaust area, very hot. I cannot stress that enough. Do not touch any of this right after you've used your snowblower. It will not be friendly. From here, our snowblower has been off for a couple hours. This little part right here is your spark plug boot. Pull this off, look inside, make sure that there's no corrosion, no moisture, Look internally to your spark plug. No corrosion, no burnt tips, no signs of stress, no signs of moisture. And if all looks good, ask yourself, when's the last time I replaced that plug? If it's been four years, well, guess what? Do yourself a favor and go get a brand new plug. And always, always, always use the OEM manufacturer's recommended plugs. In our case, to get this out, it is a 13 16 socket. Once you get a new plug and properly gap it, go ahead and insert it and insert your spark plug boot push in until you hear that suction sound or feeling or clicking sound and run through your starting checklist and start your engine and hopefully that will fix your issues and if that doesn't do it well when's the last time you put fuel in your tank if it was two years ago and this has been sitting stationary with the engine off chances are you have contaminated fuel and you need to drain it and when it comes time to refuel your tank i highly recommend and always recommend recreational fuel only which is non-ethanol it never ever gunks up your system the tank nor any portions of your fuel system and it can sit inside your tank for a long time and never degrade itself which is awesome so if you try all those things and your engine is still turning on and turning off within a few seconds, you may have something more internal or more in depth internally going wrong with your engine. You may have to contact your local Aaron's dealer and check to see what they say. However, hopefully it doesn't get to that point. Hopefully these few simple steps can get your engine up and running efficiently and properly. Do us a favor below the video. You will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel, definitely go to your settings, turn on your YouTube notification bell. Hey, once you do that, every video that we upload, you will be notified, you will be able to stay up to date with us, and that will be awesome. Also, YouTubers, we have an entire playlist of fun videos working on our snowblower, so definitely check that out.